Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Project Size video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you get these new OP masks that give insane boost. As you can see here, this mask gives me plus 2 strength, 25% stamina regen, and 60 max health. Which is insane for just a mask. As you can see, I have plus 8 strength. When I hold on my Soryu, I have plus 10 strength. So I have like, insane M1 damage. So I'm going to show you guys the best method to obtain these masks. So first method is boss swapping between Rengoku and Akaza. So you kill Rengoku. Once you kill Rengoku, you want to swap. You want to go to the trainer and... Or not the trainer, sorry. You want to go to the horse and you're going to want to teleport to Akaza's cave. And here at Akaza's cave, you fight Akaza, obviously. And this boss rotation is really good for mythics because they have increased chances to drop from tier 5s. I have a video on my channel if you guys want to see how to sell Akaza. And I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to make one on how to sell Rengoku. Pretty easy, but... Yeah, when both of those guys are down, because obviously they have 15 minute uh, 15 minute respawn times, you're going to want to head over to WAP City, as you see here. And you're going to want to farm the tier 3 chest that are located um, west of WAP City. Alright, as you can see over here, west of WAP City, there is this yard, and pretty much... You can farm the Swamp Demon that's over there, and also the Fire Boss that is over here. This Fire Boss is really easy. As you can see, uh, they both drop tier 3 chest, and they both have 3000 HP. They're very easy boss bosses. This guy is the easiest boss in the new map, and Swamp Demon is honestly even easier if you just want to combo him, but... Yeah, these bosses are what you want to do when, when Goku and Akaza are both down. I'll show you guys how easy it is to kill this boss. How... Look at my M1 damage, by the way. I do 24 M1 damage with Soryu, and it's not even max. That's how good these these um this mask is. What is this demon? But yeah, pretty much 24 M1 damage with just this. And I'll show you guys all the stats of every single mask on the screen, or the pictures of them at least. But one mask gives an XP boost. That's one of the mythic ones. There are two mythic masks. Another one gives just insane stats, uh, and the last the last really good mask gives plus two in sword so this one gets plus two in strength the other one gets plus two in sword unfortunately i don't have it but that's why i'm trying to get it right now and yeah these masks are insane buff so you guys really want to get this especially if you're trying to do like raids or pvp these don't these uh masks are going to be a must because of the stats obviously but yeah as you see the ammo damage is insane with this mask as well as with fight Fist Mastery, but still, I just kill this boss instantly. And once you kill this boss, you're gonna want to go and kill the other boss that's to my left. I see it. Once I kill this, I got nothing, unfortunately. But and then once you kill a Swamp Demon, you're gonna want to head over to Renkeki and kill him as well. I'm not gonna kill him right now because I don't really need to. But yeah, that's pretty much what you do to farm for these masks. That's the best method to farm for really any mythic in the game and any drops. Kill Rengoku and Akaza, and when they're down, you farm these people. That's what I've been doing to get my scythe and these masks. But yeah, that's be pretty much it for this video on how to farm these masks. If you guys found this helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.